Hi everyone, my name is Mern, and today I'm going to show you my LEGO Minecraft Big Freak Scale Remote Control Minecarts. So as you can tell by the fact that there's a remote beside it, this minecart is functional and it can move. It works kind of okay on tracks, but sometimes it goes off, but that's only if you go a bit too fast. This is fully to scale, well it might be a tiny bit bigger, just due to the everything that's inside it, but it's fully to scale with the LEGO Big Freak Minecraft Steve. There are some studs inside the minecart that allow him to fit inside of it. So if I just pop him in there, and I can just put him in there, and you can have a ride in the minecart. Actually, he's kind of facing the wrong way, because this is the back. This minecart system is based off the fact that in Minecraft, you could, when you put a powered minecart behind a normal minecart, it will push that minecart. So I thought it would be good if I had uh, all the battery box stuff and the receiver, as you can see here, as for the black thing. If I had all that in here and the motor in here, I could make a whole thing. And it works, and it does work, and it's perfect. The battery box and the receiver are in here. The battery box is on its side, and the button is accessible over here between the minecarts. The um, receiver's over here and it has to be popping out so it can actually get a good reception. Since this is a powered minecart, as you can see it has a furnace inside of it. I tried to make the furnace like it from the actual game, but to scale with Steve and each block, it takes up an 8x8x8 eight 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 stud area. And um, this does go, so if I just go in here, you can see between there's a little flap and I can uh, go to it and pull it and it, this will come out this is the uh, this is just a flap to make sure it doesn't get shown and then there's the button in there as you can see and if I press it it is now on so I'm going to put the flap back on you can obviously see the one wire that's going from the powered minecart to the normal minecart that's because on the bottom there we have uh, the motor here and the uh, some small wheels on the bottom so there's space for the power functions battery box to fit in. This is using a, a train ba battery box due to it, it, it's, it being the smallest power functions battery box that, out there. If we bring this back a bit you can, might be able to see a bit more space of it. There we go, that's it working. And that's all it really does. You use this this but uh, this knob here to move it. So, and it has seven speeds due to the remote I'm using. But the best speed to run it, I think, is uh, number five. Here, if we back it all the way up, and then like there, that's that's a uh, fine speed. As for the details of the model itself. Inside here, we have it was quite easy to make, so there's not much details to it due to you know it being Minecraft. But inside, we have a I tried to make it look like the actual minecart from Minecraft. So, this is an empty minecart for a player to hop in, or I could put a chest inside there or something, but I haven't made a chest yet, so that will have to come later. But I could put a chest inside here, and it could just be, be just a minecart pushing a chest. Um, but I have the black rim around the dark grey a little bit, and then there's the studs for Steve's uh, legs to stick onto, so he can sit down in the minecart. And then we have on the bottom of each of the minecarts, we got these uh, little decorations here, which are the wheels. The, the they're the decorational wheels, uh, like pixelated wheels that you see in in the game. When I first got the big fig St uh, Steve set, I thought to myself. I could use this to put inside a remote control minecart. I was hoping to make a Minecraft minecart for ages, but uh, I didn't know what scale to have it as, and now that I have a bigger Steve than the minifig scale, it's uh, I, I was finally able to do that. It was very hard to make this. This would, this would be easier if it was um, made using the Lego Boost system, but unfortunately I don't have any of the those electrical component components. 
um, because with Lego Boost all you need is the battery box and then the motor because like, the battery box it acts like a receiver itself because it's Bluetooth. And if you're wondering, on this minecart you might have saw that there's two little gaps here. These gaps are for the motor so the motor can fit in because it has two little slits on the edges of the motor for the um, for the like like uh, buffers, the magnetic buffers to fit on it and I had to make some space for those because I can't take those off. These minecarts are probably my favourite thing I've made in this scale because I love how it all just worked out. How like the scale for the blocks in this is 8 studs wide and the tracks, the official Lego tracks are actually 8 studs wide so that makes, that means that it's all really perfect and I, I, I thought that was like was a really huge coincidence. In the middle you can also see that there's a uh, I don't know what the name of this piece is, but it's with that piece there where like it can go round and it can go in like different angles. So you it can turn like this way, and that way, like that, with ease. Now that I've shown you the minecarts, I can now show it to you running on a full track. Now that I have the track set up, I can show you actually m moving on a full track. So here we go. There goes Steve. Go around the bend, and it's fine. But sometimes it does come off the track, unfortunately, when it goes round bends. So, yeah, it, it goes off a lot, to be honest. You just have to start slow, not go too fast. There it goes. Yeah, but sometimes it can do that. I wish I had enough space on it so the wheels could run better, but unfortunately, it's a very it has to be small enough to actually look good with the figure as well. So, it seems to always do that on the start of turns, which is very annoying. I think if we went backwards though, it might work. Oh, it's completely come off now, as you can hear. Yep. And now it's stuck and bent. But maybe if we went backwards, it might do better. Okay, running backwards is generally better, I think. For some reason it goes slow though, and I think that maybe that's because the motor is pushing the battery box instead of pulling it, and it is actually running way smoother. I would have the battery box in the normal minecart, I'd love it to just be one minecart, to be honest. But to do that, I'd need to have those special old metal 9-volt metal rails from like the uh, the late 90s and those are like really expensive these days I've always wanted to have myself some of those but like that's not probably not gonna happen because with the metal tracks you don't need a battery box or anything if the electricity is in the tracks itself and that's it so if I had that I would be, would be easily be able to run the um, just just a minecart on the tracks and that's it and it's just one minecart with the motor on the bottom and that's it and it would work perfectly then another reason i think it may be running slower is but due to the battery it might be the battery might be running out so that's unfortunate sometimes i think if it actually did go faster that it, it it might actually run better like you see now it's finding itself very hard to even move i think it's dead now like I'm I'm turning it and it's not moving. I think it's dead. I just don't I just don't think it's like up for like struggling, like pushing something or pulling something at the moment it, due to the lack of uh, battery strength. Thanks everyone for watching my video and I'll catch you guys later with the next one.